Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial and in this video I will be showing you how to create back in the state of the room. So you can go and let's see how that's done. So you can see for this video, I have already opened this A4 size document and given a name to my document as well called Balloons. So the first thing I want to do before I create is to make sure that I am in the right window which is I am in this essential classics options right here from this drop down box below. Then only I will be able to see all these tools right here on this screen. So the first thing I want to do is to create these balloon shapes it's really easy to do so to do that I will be using this ellipse tool and make sure that there is no fill I'll select this none fill option and I'll let the stroke be the way it is which is black so I'll just click on shift and alt to make one circle like this I'll zoom in and with the help of the direct selection tool, I'll go ahead and make some slight changes in this circle. I'll first select this uh, lower anchor point and with the help of this down arrow key on my laptop, I'll just bring it down a little like that and I'll select this upper anchor point and bring that down a little bit like that. And probably with the side anchor tool as well, get that inside and get the other anchor point inside as well, like that. So now I also create this small rectangle, sm sorry, so small triangle which usually comes in at the end of the balloon after you've tied it up. Right. So I'll go back to my original document and this time I'll be choosing the star tool so if you click and drag your mouse you will be seeing that you that you get somewhat like this star shape right but you do not want a star you want a triangle so to get a triangle all you have to do is click on is click on the down arrow key once and twice and you get a rectangle triangle like that so now you can go ahead and resize this to make it to make one small triangle like this and I'll just bring it to the below of this balloon like this okay so now let's go ahead and make multiple copies of a balloon right I'll select both these two shapes click on alt and make one uh, copy over here and similarly by clicking on all I'll make another copy on the other side like that I'll select this one again and I'll just rotate this a little on the inwards like this I'll select these two again and rotate it a little bit more like that. I'll just select this portion, click on all to create one, uh, one more circle like that. Similarly, I'll select this and bring it like that by making a copy. So I'll select this again and I'll probably make resize this a little bit more by clicking on shift plus alt and dragging it like that way it's like this so i'll add the strings later so the first thing i'm going to do after this thing after we made the shapes is to go ahead and add the colors right so over here in this illustrations you can see that the balloons have a gradient shade so it so like this has so these balloons have a darker shade and then it's slowly gradating into a lighter shade like that right so it's really easy to do that again so i'll first select this balloon and i'll select 
the triangle as well and I'll go ahead and click on this gradient tool double click on this I'll bring this on the side so you can see and if you click on this gradient slider so by default you can see it's white to black but I do not want that so let's change the color as well so I'll select double click on the yellow on this white one and I'll choose the first color so I'll choose this dark shade of this dark purple and over here instead of black I'll choose purple okay now I want to change the angle right so instead of from going left to right we can go ahead and change the angle from this drop down box and probably I will stick to minus 45 like that and there you go our first gradient is made so I'll arrange this I'll se select this body first right click go to arrange and click on this option bring to front like that so I'll select so after that's done we'll go ahead and fill it in with gradient on the other balloons as well so I'll go back to the gradient tool again now this time instead of of a purple shade let's choose some other shades let's do light blue to dark blue so instead of this shade I'll select light blue and instead of purple I'll select this really dark shade of dark blue like that let's change the angle as well let's choose 45 degrees like that and our second gradient is also done now similarly I'll select this body first body of the balloon right click go to arrange and say bring to front I'll actually bring this the middle one in front like that I'll select this one and repeat the process go to gradient and choose a different color I'll say choose is yellow to orange and you can go ahead and play around with the angles as well so I'll say 180 degrees no actually not 180 degrees uh, yeah minus 180 degrees or probably just go around and see which one you like more or which one actually suits better or yeah okay minus 45 looks better like that right click arrange and bring to front one last time I'll bring the middle one in front like that so I'll select this one and I do not want to add a gradient right since it's behind the gradient will not show that much so you can go ahead and just fill it up with the solid color and this one last one to be filled up with any color you want let's take red like that so once this is made I'll select all of this and I'll remove the stroke from this none option right here okay now the only thing that is left to do is to add the strings so to add the strings I'll go to this pen tool remove this fill and I'll make sure that the stroke is black and go ahead and make some squiggly squiggly lines like this click on escape to get rid of the pen tool and go ahead and just continue making the lines like that this and that so for the balloons that are hidden we'll just take one anchor point from here and 
just make this one come through like this click on escape to get rid of the pen tool and similarly add make it going through like over here and that's it now our balloon illustration is ready so let me go ahead and save my document to do that i'll go to file click on save as and by default my document is saved as an adobe illustrator file i highly recommend that we save our file in this format so that in case if i want to make any changes in my document i can easily access the adobe illustrator file and i let the file name be balloons as it is and click on save and click on okay and that's it our balloon illustration is now successfully saved as an ai file to check you can see that this dot ai comes right in front of the uh, right in front of this name of the document we had saved and that's it. I hope you found this video to be useful and with a little practice you can soon make different kinds of illustrations in Adobe Illustrator. So thank you for watching and keep practicing.